welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range Frostbite. Going to be our first Rank Up Sunday deck. We're going to be playing four decks here that are you know, more of the Tier 1 decks of the format. Um, for our Rank Up Day, we're going to have this, we're going to have Endure Aggro. Those two are definitely two of the most played. Probably the three most played are those two and Twisted Swain. But I want to do the Plunder Control instead of Twisted Swain. The Plunder Control... Um, was a deck that we played a few days ago. It was a donation deck that's basically like Twisted Fate Ezreal. It's just taking out Ezreal for Gangplank. And that deck looked really good. And then Spider Lux. Um, that's also a deck that I really like with the Mage Seekers and, and Lux and Elise and things like that. Okay, so Midrange Frostbite. As y'all know, this is you know probably the best deck in the format in my opinion. Um, it just so versatile so good against so many different things really great against mid-range strategies and it'll be our first deck to play today why does it go over to singleton i don't know that's weird oh because maybe because i was on that screen all right but anyway here we go mid-range frostbites oh i did not change the board and everything we should probably do that let's head on over to freljord use noxus we can have... Yeah, Von Yip's cool. Okay. So we'll see how we do on our rank update today. Hey, say moi. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I have the one Averroes and Sentry to to fill the curve early on. Um, but yes, you could, could play one Captain Farron if, if you don't... You know, if you don't need that curve filler and you just want the top-end finisher... Um, yeah, it could go one Captain Fair in there. I, I would, don't hate that. <laughs> don't hate that at all. So we need to keep our Frostbite cards for... Uh, for They Who Endure. Um, so no Elise at all, just Sejuani. So Culling Strike's gonna go with no Elise. That's like where really, really where I want that card. And honestly, I'm just gonna get rid of the six mana spells to start with. I am playing a third Harsh Winds today. I had recently, the last few times I played this deck, I'd been playing one Fury of the North and two Harsh Winds, and I'm just getting rid of the Fury of the North and playing a third Harsh Winds because that card is awesome. But as you can see here with this hand, like obviously Captain Farron would be a lot worse to have just to start with. Because then we wouldn't have had anything to play here. Um, that's why I kind of have the sentry. It's just another early drop to play. Now, these aren't really the best things to block. But I think I want to anyway. Hmm. Look out for Reavers! No. Hmm. I don't know. This is tough. Ready the torches. Now what? Light the signal fires. The trap is set. Alright, well, if I attack in, they get to block with the Spiderling and turn the Bark Beast into a 3 3. Okay, Bark Beast is going to be turned into a 3 3 either way. So tell my opponent that I have a one mana spell. That could be an important three points of damage later, who knows. Hmm. 
So I think Hearth Guard's my best play, but I kind of want to go Enrage Yeti, Babbling Bjerg to, to double spell. No, I'm going to just go Hearth Guard. I'm going to just get this in play right away. Alright, so they're going to be draining. <clears throat> so we can Reckoning this turn. Man, I'm really glad I played that Hearth Guard right away. Alright, well, looks like I'm going to just Flash Freeze this Sejuani. Now, so if I Flash Freeze... Let's play Enraged Yeti also. Now, I don't get to... Oh, yeah, no, I do get to. Okay, I thought so. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I can Culling... Yeah, so I get to Flash Freeze and Culling Strike. Yeah, this is they who endure that we're playing against. Playing Sejuani instead of Elise. Same wall with the donation deck. Not sure if I let them block with all of these things. And just get all these drains. I don't guess not when I have the reckoning. Maybe just with Sejuani that has the overwhelm and can do damage. Boo! With that resub. Thank you, Boot. Four years now. Wow. Been a sub since day one. Um, thank you. Yeah, we gotta have Collector die, but, you know, I could only kill one Collector right then. Everyone's a so it's really good to, to kill Neverglade Collector with killing all the other things at the same, you know, like the same time because then they don't get any of those abilities from Neverglade Collector because it's dying. Hark. Come here. There you are. <clears throat> Another Blighted Caretaker. Alright, so Same Law had a donation deck with um... Let's go with frostbiting this thing. I mean, all I do, I'm saving two. Yeah, I gotta do that because I gotta save the two health so they can't just use vile feast to kill my ash. So there's a greedy swain at Sejuani deck. Cool. Uh, all right, so I can just go to attacks. They wouldn't be able to block. Seems like what I'm supposed to do. Avarosa, guide me. Let's do that. If this works out, you know, if they have removal for any of these things, it's not lethal. I need all four to hit for it to be lethal. Alright, and there we go. Currently one and oh. A new will rise. 
Even though it's tempting just to play the Avros and Hearth Guard and then play the Triparian Assessor and draw six cards. But attacking's a win, so we should just take the win and attack. I wonder if it's better to play with that deck just to play three, you know, like they had three Sejuani's, no Elise. I wonder if that's better than playing any Elise. Like maybe, maybe this isn't a, an Elise metagame. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. I could have just drawn six cards. This deck is busted. You know, it doesn't, doesn't win 100% of the games. Nothing does. But... Man, the cards this deck has is pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. Don't really mind these cards. I guess we could maybe do better than those. We'll see. They're not bad though. Let's see, like that's worse. I'd rather have those two than, than these two. But we got all of our spells right now, so we can have the units on top for Omen Hawk. So we can draw them after Omen Hawk. Ooh, wow, they let me hit. I'm not expecting that. The winter's claw strikes. Love calling strike. Leave nothing standing. Gain four life. So I love calling strike because it can deal with um with the 3-3 three, three Peddler. Peddler is the most important card to get rid of. Alright, I have a second. Um... I will unite the Freljord. You die here. A second Brittle Steel now. There was a little fella asking for me. Swiftly now. I have Elixir of Iron to protect from Mystic Shot, so I don't have to be that worried about Mystic Shot. So we should be good with this. Taking out these things. We're still gonna get a ton of puff caps. That chump wolf is kind of rough. We're at 16. So Timo is leveled up. combo and now we need you know, we need to just draw units we've only seen we've only drawn one unit that for the omen hawk right just the ice veil archer only the i'm just playing this before a mystic shot would mean that we only that we don't uh 
draw two. Fight or die. Might as well play yeah, might as well play that first. Swiftly now. <sighs> I guess I mean I guess I could have brittle steeled my Avaros and Sentry to keep them from taking two and then leveled up my Ash and killed this thing. So I basically could have cast Brittle Winter Steel to kill that thing. Um, but I feel like I could do that anyway. Look out for Reavers! I'm glad I didn't worry too much about uh, taking that damage. We took damage anyway. That's fine. Of course, we have answers to that. Um. Oh, that's true. Brill still can only hit opponents. That's true. That's a good, good call. Even though I would love to play the Sejuani, it was just the best play to just go straight to attacks. And I, I don't think I was going to, like, I wasn't going to start with with harsh winsing. I would have let, you know, you know, it would. The onus was on them to do something out of that. Drave and Jinx. Drave and Jinx. This game looks pretty good. I like these one mana spells. I like the two mana units. Sharpen the blade. Hand's not perfect against this. Ugh, that's rude. My hand's not very good against what they got going on. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. I think brittle steel is more important to keep moving forward. Dang. Triple urchin? Pretty good. Oh, it is a great day for a raggedy. Not and ready. If it's a fight they want. 
So I can cast Brittle Steel to gain life. Could also just you know, use my Challenger to take that down. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. And then use, let's see. So this puts me to, to 10. Go to 13. Do I need to save my 3 1? Like I save my 3-1, but maybe I'm not going to be saving Ash then if they have a 3 power thing here. May not save Ash. Brittle steel. These are our lands. So no vision. You know they could have had vision to kill Ash. Few are in the right to call themselves Trifarian. Alright, well, I kind of wish I would have played that first to pump these up, but I wanted to see if, if we found a one mana spell, which that's a one mana spell. Uh. I do feel like I need to challenge immediately. Try to get Jinx out of here right away. Before before a hand empties. I'm not sure if I want to play Trapper. I'm not sure if I want... Like, do I want to be drawing into a 1-mana 5-5? Five five? I know 1-mana 5-5 five five is usually pretty great, but at this point of the game, do I want to draw one? Yeah, I guess so. Do you get to play all of these? A chill in the air. I work to do. My experiments. Tread carefully. Alright, so do I go straight to attacks or do I play Sejuani? So 
If I go straight to attacks, they can block the 3-3, take 11. Can't really do that. Play Sejuani. Sejuani, go, go, go. All right. Bow to no one. We will try Sejuani. Oh, that backfired. Watch, learn. Jack's at attack. Yeah. Backfired. Get all these blockers now. I'm going here. Obviously, the 4 3 would have been the best to challenge, but the 4 3 dies to get excited. And I didn't want. Go. I didn't want to get excited to kill my thing that was going to kill Jinx. I'm on the verge of something. So that was, yeah, that was a Jinx's get excited. I thought so. I'm going to need these, but maybe. Okay. had the overwhelm so our overwhelm unit would just go ahead and do that yeah good <laughs> that was an overwhelming win <laughs> yeah we're we're just uh yeah under under 30 minutes for our um 3-0 so yeah 10 minutes of win this deck is just really strong, really efficient. We've we've played against a you know pretty good variety of decks, three different decks so far. And this is why I think this is the best deck um, in the game right now. We'll see if anything changes with the deck on the 26th, whenever the new set's released. They're talking about maybe changing up a couple of cards, like not a full balanced patch, but maybe having um, a couple of cards change. We'll see if anything happens with this deck. Now this is not a very good hand same we're playing against the same opponent i mean not you know not the same opponent but the same deck and they're you know this is the really aggressive deck and i don't have much the good thing we have avaros and sentry in here again over captain farron <laughs> the sentry has definitely been been better for us than farron would be we have needed this entry please not jury rig come on <laughs> how do they always have this start and they're on the uh, they're on the attack. Um, I there's not really a weakness to the deck to be honest, but the I think the decks that have the best success against it is a very aggressive deck. I think you have to go under it. I don't think going over it is that successful. So kind of like what what the opponents do in here. I think this is because before pre pre nerfs to burn with Boom Crew Rookie. Being the 1-4 and um, 
everything that burn is what this deck used to struggle against. Before you know, Legion rear guard and Boom Crew rookie got nerfed. Victory requires a sharp blade. It's Draven time. It was too slow for the burn deck. Going for Reckoning is very risky. I'm going to just play this. I know I'm only drawing one card off the Assessor, where I could draw one card off ba Babbling Bjerg, but I don't want to draw a unit with 5 plus power. I already have units with 5 plus power. I want to just draw a card and try to draw more spells, honestly. For glory. You're mine. Well, we got get excited out of their hand, so that's pretty good. Joke debate. I didn't do Draven because I could. I was still planning on killing Draven with the brittle steel. where the Boom Kuroki would do damage as soon as it attacked. Let's do this. I know a challenge when I see one. Raven down. They walked around. That's a good draw. I guess I'm playing that in Hearthguard. Many drives under one banner. We're still not very likely to win this game, to be honest. Because we because we are at six. Like we really don't have much life at all. They I still have a bunch of cards, so this is Won't find better Yeah, we are not likely to win this one. Cause like at best case scenario we're at two right now. We're at four and I can only block three of these four. We need to draw Ugh. I was gonna say we need to draw frostbite. Not that kind of frostbite. Like if they'd go straight to combat frostbite. Yeah, doing eighteen to them before they just have a couple of burn spells is not likely. Now we're going down to one best case scenario. Well, they gave me a chance for Reckoning. Good morning, Tumble Dog. Thank you so much for the sub. That's definitely bringing the hype boats in the chat. And so was that Reckoning that they just gave us an option to. So we went from best case scenario going down to one to them playing a card pre-combat, allowing us to Reckon... And best case scenario just got a lot better. I'm only at one out of five for Ash, so we are not close to having a leveled up Ash. Um, but with that being said, my play is going to be Ash plus Glory Seeker plus Archer. They got very greedy. Doesn't mean we're still gonna win. I mean, all you need to find is, you know, a decimate or something like that. A true Fagorian welcome. My first big mission. I need just a moment. Today we Face me. 
Gotta kill Boom Crew before it does two damage to us. Now I've lost my place. And that's why I played Glory Seeker last. I don't if you leave, if you play Glory if I would have played Glory Seeker earlier, they just would not have played that Boom Crew rookie until after attacks, which is what they should have done anyway. Alright, they're giving me the opportunity to go straight to attacks, so I will take it. Ouch. Ouch. Maybe I should have played one of these things first. Okay, that's good. Well, not good because they're still alive, obviously, but I meant good as in... Um, that's not a mystic shot going to my face. Basically, I was worried about... Okay, so I was worried about if I would have, like, tapped out with something expensive, then I would not have had the oppor I would not have had the ability to play Reckoning, and then they could have dropped a Boom Crew Rookie. Like, if I would have played, like, Sejuani, then they go Boom Crew Rookie, attack, deal two to you, and then Mystic Shot, deal two to you. Kind of thing. I was worried about Boom Crew Rookie. That's why I didn't want to... I didn't want to tap out. I don't know if... I, I made that decision pretty quickly. I'm not sure if I had 10 mana, if I could have played Babbling Bjerg and still had 6. But that's what I was worried about. And then whenever it goes to my turn, I don't want to... I want to go straight to attacks, and I don't want to play something main because of Decimate. I don't know if they're playing Decimate. I don't want them to... They drew Decimate and then kill me. Okay, what do we got? Sejuani, Callista again. So is this... So whenever I play Endure Aggro later, am I supposed to just play Sejuani and no, no Elise? That's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. Uh, Archer is fine. Yeah, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Are you ready to reckon? We shall not rest until all betrayers Patience. So this is my best Ice Fill Archer is like my best card against Callista. But I wanted to get going towards this 5-5. Five five. Uh, let's see. I'm through waiting. Wow, really? So, Blighted Caretaker. So, definite Blighted Caretaker. Level up Callista, they're just going to be bringing back a 2 1. Yeah, we'll, we'll go th over the reveal at between videos here. We'll check it out. Um. True, 
the Navastian border from here. Their treachery ends now. Return to us. Tread carefully. So this is just another thing dying for they who endure if they have they who endure. What did you catch? That doesn't really help. Many tribes under one banner. Cause I I can't I can't brittle steal this Callista right now, so we don't don't get to like culling strike it. How to kill Cal like during combat? How to kill Callista? You have to. Use a removal spell on. Uh, you'd have to use a removal spell on the minion that's buying, you know, because the minion takes all the damage for Callista. So the way to kill Callista whenever they're attacking is you'd have to use a removal spell such as Culling Strike on said minion, and then. Um, Okay, okay. And then, um, and then block Callista, also. So this will put Callista down to one health, so now I will have the Brittle Steel Cooling Strike combo available. Drawing an extra card here with this Sentry. We want to be drawing... Sure. That's fine with me. Uh, I want to be drawing like Triparian Assessor. Sejuani. Harsh Winds. Ash. Reckoning. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll look at Trundle after, right after this game. Another Callisto, I'm going to be sad. They do. All Means I got to use these two cards to kill this Callista. Another really good Blighted Caretaker, man, that card is awesome. 
We're not in the best spot. They got a lot, you know, they got more cards than us. They got three cards, I have one. Where is Trifarian Assessor? As I say, in case it's they who endure, I shouldn't attack with hard card, let them block, and they get another plus one. Brittle Steel? <laughs> no, I need Harsh Winds. You own what you take. Alright, four and one. Opponent got us that time. Ran out of steam. No, neither, we didn't, you know, we didn't see either of our champions. No Ash, no Sejuani, no Assessor to draw cards, so none of those three, and no Harsh Winds, and no Reckoning. <laughs> so yeah, like, basically didn't see, you know, any of those, like, really powerful cards. Um, yeah, no Sejuani, no Reckoning, no Harsh Winds, no Assessor, no Ash. None of any of those. No, no Glory Seeker, just to challenge Callista. And, you know, opponent did see a lot of their champions and powerful cards. You know, they got double caretaker, double Callista, Sejuani, they who endure. So that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Um, so, yep, we did pick up a loss. Um, all right, but yeah, I still, I mean, I just think this deck is awesome. I think this is the, the best deck still. Um, like I said, we'll see if on the 26th, if there is any changes to this deck. Um, I, I think that... Something that they could change is maybe Trifarian Assessor of just having this be just a draw one total, not draw one for each. Uh, like, you know, if you just have a five plus power ally draw card, maybe that's something they could do to, to get the power level of this deck down a little bit. But it is super good. All right, rank up Sunday starting well, 4-1. That's, that's awesome. That's 80%. Um, you know, we'll take that all the time. We'll see how our other decks do. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some mid-range frostbite, and I'll see you for the next video.